Starting in July, transit agencies will be offering two free months of transportation, and the goal is to get people out of their cars during some of the worst ozone months for our state. This comes after what the state describes as a successful trial run last year. Denver 7's Megan Lopez shows us the obstacles the state will need to overcome if they want this program to be a long-term success. If you've never ridden an RTD bus or train, trust Jamie Lewis when he says it can be expensive. Most of our community depends on accessory ride and have to pay a $5 fee. So to do a round trip to the grocery store is going to cost him $10. That's why he's excited for free rides on buses and trains for two months starting in July. They'll be able to take that savings and maybe do something that's a little more exciting. It's the state's second attempt to lure people out of their cars. I want individuals to try transit just one time. Try it another time. The goal of all of this is to bring down emissions during some of the hottest months of the summer when ozone levels are high. Transportation is number one emitted of carbon and one of the top emitters of ozone. But a report from RTD said drawing conclusions about the success of last year's pilot program is hard to prove. It's unclear, for instance, if this program had any effect on Colorado's greenhouse gas emissions. And two agencies, the Roaring Fork Transportation Authority, which operates near Aspen, and Grand Valley Transit, which runs in Grand Junction, also steered clear of the free fare program, saying they didn't have the staff to offer reliable service for an influx of new passengers. The service is not at the level that it should be because of the operator shortage. The RTD Operators Union says that wasn't the only issue their employees faced. There's people who get on public transit transportation who are not really going anywhere. It's just a place to use drugs, and that increases during these free fair times. But RTD insists that things went smoothly. We did not see any uptick in incidents last year in reference to the zero fare period. The union says it wants more people riding transit, but the focus can't solely be on passengers. This is good, I like it, but it just, it's only one part of the whole picture. The rest of it is addressing the needs of people whose needs are not transportation related. So while this is a pilot program, they hope there will be more permanent solutions if it's gonna stick around. Megan Lopez, Denver 7.